Hello, tech setters. Welcome to episode 280 of Aussie Tech Heads. How are you going in this episode? I hear Sydney's still raining. Brisbane's nice and fine. Uh, yeah, so that's the weather update. But anyway, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Thanks for thanks for downloading. Thanks for tuning into YouTube or however you listen to us. A thank you. Uh, this is episode 280, recorded on the 8th of March 2012, and my name is Glenn. And together with Will Tomkinson tonight and Eric Franco, if he if he can get some certain audio things uh, happening, he will be joining us sometime in the show. So uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. Welcome to the lounge. Also live dot thesecrethub.com every week on the recording of the show. You can jump into live dot thesecrethub.com and watch the actual video taping of the show. Lucky you, <laughs> lucky you guys. Don't forget if you want to call in to the show live, you call in on Skype on uh, the Skype the Skype handle or whatever you want to call it is Aussie Tech Heads. All right, live video is always recorded and placed up on the YouTube as well. YouTube dot com the Secret Hub. And as you can see, I've got a new background if you're on the video. Yay, yay. That's the green screen in action. And we've also got Will. Oh. How are you going, Will? <laughs> How are we? I was going to say, you gave it away. You should have just said, you know, just installed a massive plasma behind it. <laughs> and yes, and Will's in the control center. <laughs> By the look it's of you. something different, yeah. Yeah, so that's good. The, the funny part is I'm actually in your control center. I know. That's right. It's weird, <laughs> eh? That's <laughs> weird. But anyway, welcome, Will. Welcome. Uh, what's been going on this week? Obviously, the big news is the uh, Apple Apple keynote, but um, but yeah, we'll get yeah, back we'll get into that a bit yeah. later on. Uh, what what's been happening with you, Will? Uh, how's uh, everything going? Uh, yeah, not too bad, other than the fact of uh, I'm two weeks behind with the podcast. Sorry to the listeners of Talkback Tech. I did upload both a video and an audio of last week's show, and they both somehow got corrupted in the upload even though they uploaded successfully so i need to re-upload those right. and thanks to uh milo that's right we're blaming milo no we're blaming frosty um last week's well tuesday just gone talk back tech is uh going to take a while to edit yes <laughs> so <yeah. laughs> but you get that but, but you get that but but it, it shouldn't take too long though because it was all it was just a big clunk of it that needed to be edited out. Yeah, I forgot. Half of it. I forget what happened. Um, what happened? Then? What happened? I forget. But anyway, something <laughs> happened. We got way, We got sidetracked doing people something. Tuned in live and listen. Li- <laughs> tuned in live and listened and watched. They'd know. <laughs> well, this is true. This is true. But uh, all right. Well, let's uh, let's move on with some stories. Uh, I've got some. Did you have any will this week? Let's talk about Google. If you got any Google ones. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of Googles. Um, I've got. Oh, no, just quickly, yeah. I'll just quickly mention a follow up to last week. At the end of the show, I talked about Wow Sight and Sound gone into receivership. Um, they're basically a giant. Well, they've got 15 stores nationwide, um, 10 of which are in, a, in Brisbane, but um, they're kind of like JB Hi Fi, except cheaper. Um, and they couldn't find a buyer, and the receivers have decided to basically close the company. Hmm. So they're having massive, um, massive sales. And the first day of the sale was today. It was chaos. There was cars everywhere. It was huge. It was ridiculous. And their prices were about 10% dearer than their normal retail prices. So That's always handy, isn't it? For people who want to go to closing down sales, don't go to the first day of the sale. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you wouldn't want to be uh, paying for it and, just, uh, and them telling you to pick it up on uh, next Friday, would you? <laughs> I think that's what happened to Clive Peters, wasn't it? Everyone got up up in arms because everyone paid for stuff, as you do, not thinking of anything mm. bad's going to happen. And then all of a sudden, they close down. And they go, well, too bad, too sad. You paid your money, but uh, nothing we can do. We're broke. See you later. Your lay buyers that were less than 25% paid off got put back into stock and your money refunded. And lay buyers that were over 25%, they request final payment by the end of the week. Um, or you can have your, your money back. And gift cards aren't being honoured. You have to basically wait till the company gets closed down and then go and put in a... Um, that's really distracting. I've got a pole moving through my head. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, you basically have to put in a, a thing with the small claims court to yeah. get your money back. So, yeah, no, that's no good. It wasn't... Wow, were the Broncos the main sponsors, weren't they? they? I think they still are for now because on the game on the weekend they were still had their logo on, so I don't know how long that's going to last. No, well the Broncos um, wouldn't want to be associated I, with too much of that. Well, they paid for the season. They've they've actually paid for the end of the, the end of the season, so I don't know 
like if there's no companies that even mm. though they might have paid the money is it still worth advertising a company that doesn't exist well yeah that's right <laughs> but yeah but as you say it's always the punter that loses out isn't it really like well, what's oh, yeah. the good deal with an extra 10 percent? that's crazy but um yeah so that, that's thanks for that little update will uh let's let's go google because there's a couple of news things that's obviously the news week has been swamped by the, the apple keynote today but well let's get the google and other stuff out of the way while we wait for Eric, if he um, if he can manage to fix his little machine up tonight, but uh, if not, we, we will cover the Apple in a sec. His Mac crashed. Oh. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know, his Mac crashed. His Apple Macintosh crashed. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Google has <laughs> Google replaces the Android market with Google Play. This is apparently what it's going to be called from now on. Google has announced that it will replace its Android market with a new platform called Google Play, which will encompass all of its apps, books, music and movies under one, one umbrella moniker. Each will have its own play rebranding along the lines of play music, play books, and so forth. So whoopee, whoopee doos. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of good because it was getting a little bit... The, the layout they had with the marketplace was getting a little bit fragmented, so it's uh, yeah, kind so, of good they're re it. So apparently, and while they're, uh, they're promoting this now at the moment, the occasion is being celebrated by a seven days to play sale, which will see discounts applied to books, uh, movies and music during the next seven days. So hurry up. Android 2.2 or higher devices should see a market update rolling out uh, within about the next week or so. So uh, jump on in, jump on in. Uh, Google Google Play, Google Play. They, they certainly remember when they did the Hangout, didn't they ask the, someone's six-year-old daughter what they should call all the the parts that hang out, you know? Yeah. And it sounds well, that's how they started with the, uh, the whole Froyo and Donut and... Ice cream mm. sandwich for and the it, Android things. It's the same thing. They basically said, what do you want to do? And they said, well, we need something that has a lot of, you know, sub branches. Mm. And, and they basically put it to the staff or something. And they went, hey, let's do desserts or sweets or mm. whatever it is. Well, it, it sounds <laughs> like this is what it's happened again. <laughs> they put the call out again to the six-year-old. And, uh, and anyway, but talking of Android and their desserts, Will, the Android 6 has been mm-hmm. has been called has been named apparently yeah, it's, so it's been named and so the next it's one which is name. the next one what due in November uh, the next the next update is the jelly bean ice cream sandwich oh, jelly bean sorry jelly yeah. bean ice cream uh, sandwich just got coming out in the last couple of weeks and the one the next one due next year in 2013 is called key lime pie there you mm. go key lime pie that's what one looks like is that not basically a citrus cheesecake or a lime cheesecake? Probably. It just looks like a cheesecake to me, doesn't it? <laughs> I but, suppose it's probably... Yeah, well, yeah, Americans call everything pie. Pizza pie. Yeah, so. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, speaking of speaking of <coughs> pie, now, uh, I know that uh, we did <laughs> cover this on the, on the Talk Back Tech on Tuesday night, but uh, so I thought it was um, appropriate that we probably should recover this now while we're talking about pie, but a different type of pie, the raspberry pie. Now, the now raspberry pie. tell us, because we have discussed this before, but uh, we'll just bring us back up to date. What is the Raspberry Pi? Would you like me to give you the description that the uh, the Australian IT's department, uh, IT's section in the Australian newspaper, <coughs> uh, which has now been taken down, ironically, you can no longer find it online, but it described the device as it has the, the uh, market-leading operating system, Linux, running a Linux processor. Is that, what, is that how they described it? <laughs> that was how the Australian, you know, their IT section of the Australian described the device. They're onto it. And it's like, no wonder <laughs> they're onto so it. far behind. <laughs> yeah, well, they probably, um, they probably had to describe it in two lines because the guy forgot his uh, log on and he couldn't get any more than two lines out. So <laughs> it was, I just couldn't believe it. They've taken the story down, they've put up an apology, but... Um, yeah, basically, the Raspberry Pi, it's, it's, the company itself um, is a not-for-profit um, British company, mm. and they basically decided they wanted to make cheap educational PCs available to everybody, not just the rich countries, but the third world countries as well. Oh, yeah. um, so they basically uh, de- developed this, this device, which is about the size of a credit card, roughly, in dimensions. Um, and basically... The short story is it has a um, 700 megahertz ARM processor. Um, It has a uh, 
uh, graphics card, which basically can play back um, smooth playback on HD video. So, so now there's a bit of a, a bit of a um, issue with the price. I th- I thought because it was twenty five, and everywhere I could find was thirty five dollars. There's there's US. two models. Um, uh, there's the the initial model that's coming out is the thirty five dollar model because they're getting the what they asked basically people what they wanted, and people said especially the people who want to test it to start with want the $35 model. So the the only real difference is, um, I can't remember off the top of my head, there's more memory um, and I think it has uh, a actual hardware, like physical network port. I think that's the real difference between the two. It's got, uh, you know, other than that, they're, they're basically the same. That's where the $10 difference comes in. Yeah, well, okay. Um, so the first the first lot come through the the lot that you try and order now that you pre-register for will be the dearer one because Mm. it's the higher spec one so apparently they Um, they sold out in uh in in record time they Uh, had ten thousand units it's not enough and they yeah ten thousand units they they made for the the pre-production i guess you'd call Mm. it yep um they sold out in about seven minutes they crashed both websites that crash RS Electronics and um, uh, what the other one is Fortec. Yeah, so uh, Element fourteen or whatever. So because so. <laughs> I think what had happened is they they pulled the site down and they had to they wanted to change servers or something. And so they pulled the site uh, that's down. That's a recent thing they did that today. Right, but then again, the, I was reading the article in there and it, on their on their blog, and it said when they changed servers, uh, the guy rang up and said, "Okay, the servers changed." So he put the phone down, went to the computer, and already registered like thirty thousand hits. By the time he put mm. the phone down and went back to the computer, and like obviously just a massive, massive uh, influx of calls. There's a lot of interest in it, and and they look they developed this because they wanted uh, young kids to get back into programming mm. in a in a cheap and mm. In a cheap way, and this is obviously a cheap way. Um, yeah, so that's, and um, it's also modular as well, being built on an open architecture, which is the ARM architecture running an open operating system, which is Linux. Mm. Um, it's completely modular. You can basically build the device to do what you want. It's powerful enough to play HD video. It plays Quake 2 uh, at 60 frames a second at the highest resolution. So it gives you an idea of its processing power. It plays, it runs Skype in HD. Um, so it actually comes bund- well, not bundled, but well, you, you can buy. You've got to run it off an SD card. Uh, you can plug oh. an external hard drive and things like that. Yeah. But it does come with Media Center software, um, so it's designed for that sort of thing. And because it's a low voltage device, runs off a USB port, that would be perfect for in-car entertainment systems and things like that. So I think it will become a very, very uh, popular little device. Mm. So yeah, no, it looks. Uh, well, I've put my name down. I want to get one. Why not? Thirty-five bucks. Why not? Mm. Why not? Have a play. And you can only, you can only actually order one at the moment. That's it. You can't order. <laughs> it doesn't matter how many times you register. You can only order one until uh, the main, the main rush finishes. Right. And I think I heard the the golden tones of the Google Plus Hangout. Shall shall we try Eric? Hello, Eric. And the golden tones of Eric are here as well. <laughs> Oh, it's fixed. You need to just move your camera, oh, camera over a bit, just... please. Sorry. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, there you go. Hang How's on. That? Is that all right? No, he's still a bit off. <laughs> oh, that's better. It's got to go over that way. <laughs> but now I've got to sit like this. Oh, can't you move it? All right. I just won't. Maybe. I won't frame you like that don't, then. Don't frame. Don't frame me. <laughs> all right. I'll just. Get, I'll give you the full frame. Um. Yeah, so how would you go? What was the what was your issue? Did you discover? I have no idea. I had to unplug all my cables from everything and re-cable the mixer to the computers and it worked. Right. And then restart everything. Okay, so it sounds pretty good. You got a good audio. It's good. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what maybe some dust on. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? But anyway, um welcome, Eric. Welcome. Thank you, sir. You you've been flooded in yet? <laughs> You got some rain down there. Oh, buckets! Oh, buckets, buckets, and buckets. Give me a break. You but, got some. Um, you got heaps. We um, we're we're at a bit of a high end of the um, of the street, so um, we just watch our neighbours swim. <laughs> right. <laughs> good. Good. So, uh, well, while you, while you've been away, I don't know if you've been listening to the stream while you've been away, but uh, well, no, I haven't. I haven't. I haven't been able to because nothing was working. All right. Well, as you as you are the Apple boy on the on the 
on the hosting panel. We thought we'd wait for you until and talk about Apple when you got here. Uh, oh, so right. we've just had a couple of Google stories, a uh, couple of uh, Raspberry Pi story, the new Google, the new Android coming out is, uh, what do we say, Key Lime Pi. Right. So there we go. I know you get excited right. about that sort of stuff. Oh, I do. Like, I, I don't like their naming convention. Yeah, we, as we, oh, I think we were just saying before, like, I think they all come from a six-year-old's mouth or something like that. So um, that's how it's all started. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. Better than my mouth because it'd be pretty foul if I had a naming mm. convention. So we were just up to, uh, we we're just talking about. Um, uh, well, the rather- biggest, the biggest news that that Apple, you know, bangs on about when they have their releases would be obviously the the iPad. Mm. But uh, yeah, but, so uh, you know, yeah. So uh, did you uh, hang just before we do that? Will did we, did we finish with Raspberry Pi? Uh, yeah, I think so. Basically, right. if you want your go to raspberrypi.org, and if you want to have a look, and you can go there and. Place your order if you're curious, and there's forums. And if you want to, you can have a play with the software before you even get it. Um, also, just quickly too, there are packs available. You can buy everything from just the Raspberry Pi for 35 bucks. You can buy the kit that's got the preloaded software on the SD card. Comes with a hard in a hard case, uh, a few other accessories and bits and pieces. Uh, USB hub, um, wireless keyboard and mouse. Uh, Bluetooth adapter that works with it, Wi-Fi adapter that works with it. I think it's like a hundred bucks for the whole kit. All right, nice work, nice work. Right, okay, all right, <laughs> all right. Good now, stuff. now your favourite topic, Will, Apple. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so so yes, the, as we, as we said, Eric, there's not much news uh, this week. It's been dwarfed, obviously, by the the real, the Apple keynote. Yeah, now, Apple has stolen the news cycle, which they, they tend do. to do when they, they do. release their products. They do. Now, did you uh, get up? In the morning to watch this live, no, we could no, just watched no, it off the no, Apple site. No, yeah, I just watched it when, um, you know, at a, at, a, at a reasonable hour. Yes. I, look, as we all know, I like their products, but I'm not, not a complete fool that I'd get up at four in the morning. Mm. Yeah, well, well, yeah, four your time, three our time, so that's a, that's an hour yes, early as well. well. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky, but you're glad you're not an Apple fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but look, look, I just look. At the the keynotes are very well put together. I think they're. They, they, are, they get they your are. interest, don't they? Like you know, they they, they get they your do, interest. They do, but and I had a little think about it, and I was re- watching it, and I thought, you know, these guys, they get you, they're good at keep getting you enthous- enthusiastic, and that's fine. Mm, but yeah. you know, then I then I thought, like, I stepped back for a couple of hours, and I read back, in, and in all honesty, it, it is a beautiful device, and if I could justify a purchase, in a, in other words, if I hadn't bought the first one, I probably I'd probably buy this one. Yeah, but I've still got the first one, and it works fine. Yeah. Um, but the, the 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 one standout that I like about this was the iPhoto application. That looked pretty it. good, that, didn't it? That looked pretty good. Did you watch? Did you watch the demonstration? I did. I did. And yeah, what? You well, can, how good was that? With the, mm. the you know the, the the touching up of the photos and everything like that. That was yep. to me. That was the best part. Yeah. Oh, look, it was magic. I liked. Uh, look, look the, if you if you want to watch the keynote, it's on the apple.com.au website, just down the bottom, right on the front page. It goes about an hour twenty minutes, so it's not too bad. Uh, but the demos were were good to watch. Garage Band demo was good. Hooking four. Uh, well, in this case, yes. they hooked up four iPads, but you can. I think you can hook up four iOS devices. Yes. And yeah. um and play Garage Band. Like each person playing a different instrument. Play a play an instrument. Yeah. Yeah. So so with the launch of the iPad. That's a bit 3, gimmicky. I must admit, that's a bit gimmicky. It's, was that know, over Wi-Fi or Bluetooth 4? I think not sure. that might Bluetooth have been 4 Bluetooth. Bluetooth is a new addition to the iPad 3. Um, it is The speed on that is quite fast, so it wouldn't surprise me if that's what they were using. I did hear Bluetooth that's, mentioned. That's possible. That's possible. Otherwise, it probably might be a slight lag. Yeah. yeah. I did hear Bluetooth mentioned, but I'm not sure Yeah, where. Yeah. But, but you know, other than that, it was good. You know, they, obviously they've got the iMovie app application in there is 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 pretty good. Um, mm. GarageBand, you know, it's always been reasonably well done. They still don't know how to do cloud applications well. They're hopeless at that. They're really bad at that. Mm. And um, you know, it, you know, you save documents here. And, well, what if I've got a Microsoft Word document and cool. I want to put that in the cloud and open it in an iPad in using Pages? I can't. Right. I can only use pages to pages to pages. It's very, and you know, I don't like that because I still use Microsoft Word on the on the Mac, for example. Because the other, I find that better than pages. Yeah, because because the, the other thing that was also uh, announced today was the uh, the Apple TV, 
Now, mm-hmm. yeah, they go on, they bang on about how much better it is by you know new features, blah blah blah. But oh, look, I was keen and interested. I was waiting. I was waiting for ABI support and all this sort of stuff. Yeah. What? what? Oh, I, you can get ABI support on that. You sort of buy the 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 cable adapter. Yeah, so you got to give Apple more money. Yeah, exactly. But what? But how do you mean <laughs> an adapter? I mean, I want, you know, HDMI to AVI adapter. No, I'm talking ABI codec, the the container. Oh, codec. Yeah. No, no, it's no, it's it's completely proprietary. It's their MV4. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's right. Yeah, oh, it's a like, quick time. Oh well, that's a, a start, I suppose. But I mean, because yeah. like, was it, could you imagine if the Apple TV you utilized like and would play the ABI DivX, whatever you want, then that well, would you know, be. You, but you know why they don't do it, don't you? Because then that means you've got to buy content from them. Hmm. Yeah. That's why it, that, that's that's the reason they don't do it. So they're obviously putting the content over the hardware, obviously, because I think that what the Apple TV yeah. costs about what, 120 bucks, 130 bucks or something. Well, they've dropped the price of the Apple TV. The the one I've got, which is the, the just the, the very prior version to that, the little hockey puck, was 129 dollars and it's 720p. Mm. This one, 1080p, comes in at 109. So they've dropped 20 bucks off it. Yeah. Yeah, at 109. In the US, pricing is 99. So we're getting not paying as much Apple tax here as we used to. No, because that's a reasonable drop. Yeah, but look, I'll just, I'll just look. If that, if that thing could play uh, more, more formatted stuff, like that would be my media center. Like, oh know, yeah, it's very, it's like, very good. The, 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 the usability and the user interface, as you can see from my notes there, um, is, is very good. Yeah. Um, and I, the, the the current Apple TV came with an upgrade to the software to make it look like the new Apple TV. So right. the only difference being that um, it's um, you know not not 1080p. Hmm. Now the the iPad 3 that that's the big that's the big one that, uh, of this week and probably this quarter. But uh, so it's uh, Retina display. So it did have a Retina display. That is very impressive as well. That's um, massive. They explain pixels. that. Massive amount massive. of pixels. Mm. Yeah, massive amount of pixels. They explained it in the keynote when they said on a normal, a 1080p TV has 19, 20 times 1080, and this has twice that. This has got uh, 2,048 by 1,536. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so it's, it's a fair whack. It's yeah. not bad. And, and look, and, and by watching the keynote, on even on your HD TV monitor screen on your computer, you're not going to see the full, the full richness of this iPad screen. Because no, I, you're not. So, you're not. No. But no. I, I think that they've got to be in front of it. Yeah, I think they've tried to uh, simulate as best as possible, and look, you can see yeah. that it's going to be it's going to be a, a nice, nice screen. Um, yeah, it would. So another, another. It would be. Look, it, look, it's very tempting, but I think I'll, I'll I'll think I'll wait a little bit longer. Maybe yep. next year I'll um I'll get I'll upgrade. That would by then that means that I've had the old one for three years. Yeah. Yep. Look, uh, I, you know. what Tim Cook announced that it was going to be uh, four ninety nine US. Uh, that yeah. ca- that that worked out over here. They're selling them or pre ordering because f- they're available March sixteen uh, on sale yes. for March sixteen in Australia. Yeah. But I think in the yeah. Apple Store they're pre selling for five thirty nine. Now the uh, I'll tell you in a minute. Yeah, that that's sounds, the basic, that sounds right. Basic version. Now I thought, you know, when I first saw that, I thought, oh yeah, here we go, Apple tax once again. But then as I got, I, I actually went through the checkout. And yeah, I, did, I, I didn't go to the I'm end, <laughs> but I went, I went pretty far. Uh, but uh, the actual machine cost 490 for the basic model. 490. Uh, are you sure? Is that but US that, that's or X, Australia? That, that's XGST. So it's yes, four right. not just for the just for the machine. So it's 490, yes, and then yeah. so that's so that's probably on par. So would you say that's on it par? It is on par because the, I, I think I've explained this before in a, in a few shows back that. On the Apple website, the, the prices they quote are not – it's before tax because each state has a different tax rate. It's not yep. like Australia, it's 10% in every state. Um, so they've got to quote X tax figures, and then depending on what state you're in, the, the tax will be added on. So right. the X tax figure is probably on par with their X tax figure. Well, if their X tax figure was 499 well, the, and then ours is 490 well, that would be about right with the exchange rate. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's so, right. I'll, so, if, that probably is. I'll, uh, I think it is about four nine. Yeah, there is. Their, their X tax figure is. I'll tell you what their X tax figure is. 
Well, uh, wouldn't that be you. wouldn't that be the four ninety nine? Yeah. Their ex tax figures four ninety nine. Yeah. So, so yeah. So that sounds like things. It's, are so it's on par. Coming together. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's yes. Coming together. So the other interesting thing is that the the full the biggest one the uh, the the three G and what with Wi Fi sixty four gig is um, eight ninety nine. Sorry. Yeah, eight eight ninety nine, including GST. Now my iPad was nine ninety nine two years ago. Mm. So they've dropped a hundred dollars off it. Yeah. And in the US, um, in the US, I'll, they're they're selling it for X tax eight twenty nine. Mm. And in Australia, it's eight seventeen X tax. And in in America, it's actually more expensive X tax yeah, for the okay. for the the biggest version. So yeah. you know, they're, they're, I think they're starting to get that right now. Now, I w- now with the um, the three G connectivity and the four G connectivity, especially because it was announced that it is going to be four G. Now, they said they are work currently working with overseas partners, telecommunication companies, because apparently yeah. uh, the t- there's two versions of the iPad. Is it is this right? Two versions of the iPad depending in the, on in in the states there is yeah depending on what carrier you go with. Yeah, Verizon is CDMA and AT and T is GSM, like mm. like here. So that that's pretty that's that's pretty tough, isn't it? Like if you want to um, change carriers halfway through, you got to get a new iPad. Is is this is this um, true? Actually, I'm not sure about that. I know that the i the iPhone, and I'm not sure if this is the case with the iPad, that the iPhone falls over there. The the CD if you go into Verizon and say I like Verizon, so I want CDMA, they've actually got um, both chips in there. So there's a oh, okay. SIM card slot in Verizon, but you can say, no, I don't want to use a SIM card, just give me the CDMA chip is built into the phone. Mm. But if you leave Verizon, you can go to AT&T and put a SIM card in. So right. I'm not sure if they, they do that with the, I, the, the iPhone. No, there's actually not. three separate devices. Yeah, for right. There's, there's like physical, there are three different model numbers for the iPad. Oh, is there? Yeah, I was just reading then actually. Because... Oh, right, so what... What, how do, how do, what does that mean exactly? So basically, obviously, the CDMA one, we won't get over here at all. because No, we won't get we that. No, that's, that. That's true. So we won't get that. That means it leaves us with the Wi-Fi one that will work and right. leaves us with the other one that won't because neither of the frequencies that it supports at the moment we have in this country. We are hopefully the trialling 700 megahertz at the moment in Bendigo under Optus as the carrier, um, but there's no guarantees that's going to go through. And if it does go through, it probably won't go through to 2015 anyway. So, because right. yeah, I, I read that too. But I also read that um, the ones that they're shipping now, as far as the chipsets are on it with the with the with the with the bands, are exactly the same as the chipsets in America. It's just that here it'll automatically just go to the 3G carrier. Right, it yes. just won't use the 4G band. That's, that's right. all. Yeah, um, Telstra still has the 1800 meg or whatever it is yeah. um, frequency but they're shutting that down soon because okay. they're using that for next G so it still won't be 4G but you will be able to use it but it will only be next G speeds mm, which right. is still pretty quick yeah yeah but, look you know what to, as far as I'm concerned the speed of the internet browsing part of it is probably um, wasn't really you know, to me, that wouldn't be a deal breaker for me if they said, "Oh, we well, can't get 4G in Australia for five years." I couldn't care because Telstra 3G was so freaking fast on this thing anyway; it wouldn't have mattered. Mm. And like we were saying last week, the majority of mobile devices, like phones and whatnot, now can tether anyway, and you've pretty much always got your phone with you. So really, right. you only need to buy the Wi-Fi version anyway. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That, Look, look, yeah, that is right. I, I probably wouldn't because I hate dicking around with pushing this button and that button, but that's just my laziness more than being <laughs> practical. Um, but it wouldn't be a deal breaker. If I didn't have yeah. a phone and I wanted an iPad and they said, oh, you can't get 4G here, it wouldn't be a deal breaker because I know how fast the Telstra 3G was on my yeah. old iPad. Mm. And it was just, I could, it just wasn't, mm. it didn't make any difference to me. You load, it loaded a map in seconds. Yeah. So, I mean, there's only so fast that a device, I mean, you, the same things in a PC. You go to somebody's place who's got a five-year-old computer. It doesn't matter how quick their internet is; it's still right. going to load at a certain speed. So it'll be the right. same with a mobile device. There's, there's that's a physical right. limit to how that's, quick that's this right. device can use the bandwidth. That's right. And did you notice? Um, I'll wrap this up soon. Did you notice when they were showing the um, the uh, 
the speed comparison with 3G and 4G, Glenn, when they were loading that, is the, e- the, the photos on an email? Uh, yes, did you, did yes. Did you see that? Yes, yes, yes. Did you see how slow their, what, what their version of 3G was in, Australia, in America? Yes. It is yeah. dog slow. It made, I'd it, love to know which carrier they were using. AT&T. You know what I mean? like, AT&T. Why AT&T is horrible? Everybody knows that over there. Well, <laughs> I know, but I think they were trying to... I, I don't know if they throttled it down to make the 4G look even faster. Well, it made me no, question But I was watching that. the 4G, and in all honesty, it was loading those photos no faster than the 3G Telstra was loading them, would mm. load them here. Yeah. And even I reckon their four G speeds are equivalent to our three G speeds. And even the uh, the loading and playing of the video over the four G was was uh, was faster while the three G was still downloading and catching up. But uh, but also right, but that well, that doesn't happen here. I've done three G on the video and it's lightning fast. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. So um, I think it's the, it, their carriers are actually quite slow. So for people in America, it's a big deal. But for us here, who's and let's be honest, I think Telstra's the best network in the world when mm. it comes to three G. Yeah. But see, um, it makes no difference to us. You're comparing AT and T to Telstra. So it's more of a fair to say AT and T's Vodafone, exactly. where you do get exactly. service usually. You do get internet mostly. You know that that's the direct comparison. It's it's not really fair to. It's not apples know. with apples. That's right. No. They're not comparing apples with apples because Telstra is far superior than both the carriers in in yeah. the, both both the main carriers in in America. I mean, McGlenn, you heard my horror stories about. When I was in Hawaii using AT and T, it was five bars everywhere I went, but it was uploading at fifty six k. Yeah, yeah. And downloading at at eight hundred. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I was I was actually under an undercover car park today, and I had to figure out how to get this battery out of a car. I had two bars of two G signal. That was it. Like yeah. the absolute minimum you can use. Yeah. And it was still. It was fine. Faster than what the best signal I ever got with three was. That's yeah. right. And well, and just to wrap it up, a few weeks ago, before Christmas, I was shopping in, in Sydney City in the Queen Victoria building. I think, I, Glenn, I told you this story. We were eight, eight floors down in the, in, the, in the bowels of the Queen Victoria building, mm. and I had five bars on my phone. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm. That's pretty good. Five bars. But now the, so, um, the, the iPad 3, also five mega, megapixel camera. Mm-hmm. So that's that's a little bit of an improvement, uh, uh, yeah. Uh, not a deal, not a deal breaker. I don't no, know who's going to walk around with a freaking iPad and take pictures. Has no. anybody said anything about what the actual optics are? Because that was the biggest problem with the with the iPad two. The camera itself wasn't a bad quality, um, but no, the, the optics, optics was rubbish in the iPad two. The optics yeah. in this are much better, um, but still. Did you see the video, Glenn, when they were saying, and you be at the and this guy at the beach taking photos of his kid and the iPad? <laughs> yeah. Get your camera out, you moron. Yeah, I mean, I guess if you're using it as an e-book reader or something and you happen to have it in your hand, well, yeah, but you're not going to use it as you're a not, camera. Look, look, I was away. I was, I was away the well, other. I was away the other weekend, and uh, someone was taking movies or pictures with the iPad. Yeah, sure, it looked dicky, but hey, if that's all you got, that's all you got. Yeah, it's all you got. That's all you got. But well, if you're at the beach, let me tell you. You can't see a damn thing on that no. iPad screen. No, you yeah. <laughs> I was trying to I was trying to come up with a reasonable example. But, yeah. I know, I know what you mean. If you, look, it's good for something like oh, I've only this is all I've got, and yeah. I want to ca- I want to capture something that's that's funny or entertaining. That's, that's it. fine. You know. But you wouldn't say, righto, um, I'm going overseas. I need my passport check camera. Yep, I'll take my iPad. Yeah, mm, that's yeah. right. That's not the so, last thing you'd take photos with. Advanced optics, backside illu- backside illumination. <laughs> Oh, there you go. <laughs> is, it, is that like a? Uh, is it like one of those monkeys with a red ass? He's <laughs> supposed to hold out in front of you. Yeah, but the uh, a backside <laughs> illumination sensor, auto white balance and face detection for incredible still images. Wow, that, that is pretty good. That is pretty good. I saw that work. That works. And you can record 1080p HD. So uh, so that's all right. Another couple that's of quick. Right. Another couple of quick stats here. Oh look, another quick f- another feature. Don't you love it? Ultra fast. Uh, full full speed ahead, ultra fast wireless. What else have they got going here? Um, it's got the uh, dual core A7, I believe, processor. A5, 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 A5 yeah, A5. Quad but core, isn't it? It's got a quad core graphics processor in it, yeah. which yeah. mainly has to do with the fact that now it's driving four times as many pixels. Mm. That's right. That's right. Exactly. And, um, and look, and it, it it does work well. It does work well. And so those aspects are all in the back end, which you know, but. And, but then uh, there's the usual complaints still come through that you know it doesn't have an SD slot, doesn't have 
you know, so it's still an iPad. Look, that, the, I think that's a good, I think they, sh- they should probably have an SD slot. I mean, yeah. why not? I mean, they're, they're, and especially now that they're marketing as a media um, They, they, they want to market it as a creation device. Yeah, How can you so create something if you can't plug something into it? Yeah, exactly. If you can't take the cam- card out of your camera or you can't plug your video camera into it. You know what they say? You share it they to the say, cloud. Well, buy the camera connector kit to give them more money, <laughs> which is a bit yeah. stupid. So you go away and you've got cables everywhere and yeah. all you need is an <laughs> iPad and a card. That's right. Yeah. You know, I, I agree with you there. It should have, at the, at the bare minimum... A USB. It should have a US, USB. Yeah. Um, not, yeah, uh, well, USB or a SD. Well, I, if it really... had, I mean, if it had a USB port, you'd be covered because you can get those little tiny adapters. Yes, yes, yes. You know, you'd so, be covered, yeah. Right. You'd be covered for everything. You can put microphones in there. You can yeah. put... You know, you can put in and out ports and whatnot. You know, like but those ex- extended. Then you wouldn't buy cord. the uh, Apple approved accessories, would you? No. Well, you wouldn't have to, would you? That's right. <laughs> That's right. But, but Apple... still, but don't you think they would sell more if they made it ex- just even slightly a little bit more open? They're not going to sell any more. They're selling enough. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, anyone that, yeah, anyone that's going to buy one, anyone that's uh, you know, like if you're not going to, well, yeah, that's going to be the deal breaker. Like you're not uh, really Apple. That's at right, least they that's kept right. the connect. They didn't change the connector. So if you have got accessories from your previous iPads, at least they'll fit. They'll mm. fit, and the, the those magnet cases fit, and all that sort of yeah. stuff. So you know, so, better than you know, all the iPad One guys couldn't do anything. I so, mean, if you had an iPad One and you wanted to upgrade, and now's probably you know not now's a bad a good, time to do yeah, it. Yeah, now's a good time. If you have an iPad Two, I wouldn't you, bother. Yeah, it's a really hard argument to make. It's like iPhone Four. Then iPhone 4S to me that's not a that's not an know, upgrade. No, not an upgrade. Mm-hmm. That's you know it's why would you you know just yeah. to get Siri because the only different thing is okay slightly better camera and it's got Siri. That's not enough for me to to, to, to break my contract. Sorry. What I found funny was they said we're not putting Siri on the iPad 3. It's not available because it, fr- it doesn't work. <laughs> but well, there's that. But we're enabling voice dictation. Yeah. Because when I'm out jogging, I'm going to be carrying my iPad 3 with me so I can dictate to it. <laughs> could, you imagine, could you imagine the size of the, 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 the armband the arm you've got to put your, put your, when you're running along? You have to carry a backpack so that you can carry it. <laughs> oh, we've got phones going right. off everywhere. Why can't I, why can't I end That's that? That's pretty funny. Yeah, mm. all right. Anyway, but no, look, it's a good product. And, I'm in, and if you've never had an iPad, you've never had an Apple product, you, 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 you'd, you'd love this product and it's fine. If you had an iPad one and you could justify it to your wife to get another one, you probably good time to get it. But um, no, I've, got, mean, I've got school fees to pay, so I'm not buying another one. I was going to say, having said that too, if you wanted to wait a couple of months, apparently they're going to keep developing the iPad 2 for a while and they're going to, or making the iPad 2, and they're going to just reduce the price. So it might not be a bad thing to wait a couple of months and get yourself a cheaper iPad 2. That's but, right. Well, they've, they've dropped the price of that already, but they'll probably drop it again. Mm. Um, so, you know, yeah, but iPad 2. Since, you, since, look, since it's launched in 2010, Apple have sold more than 55 million iPads. That's a hell of a lot. Yeah, um, a lot. yeah so, so despite increased competition from Samsung, Motorola, Sony and Asus, uh, there's this, this mob Gartner, whoever they are, some sort of little dudes, predict Apple will continue to lead the category this year with 69 million tablets being sold to just 22 million Google Android. So there you go. There you yep. go. That's uh, yeah, it's three thousand, nearly three thousand iPads per week. Mm. That's a few. But that's not right because oh yes, okay, they're just okay, yeah, they're just comparing tablets. Just yeah. tablets, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, All right. Have, have, that, yes. Can we finish with um, Apple, or is there any more? Yes, we can. I was going to say we just quickly finish. the iOS five point oh one. I think it was. No, five five point one. 5.1, yeah, it came out. Um, I don't know much about it because I don't have an Apple device. I do know that I've had half a dozen calls from friends who's bricked their phone because it's, and they can't get in till tomorrow to see their Apple dude. So, oh. so that worked well. Hmm. Well, mine's okay. I, mine, mine went, mine was all right today. Oh, a lot of them did, but it's just this is the only update. I have to admit, out of all the updates they've done, for some reason. This one's just gone pear shaped for a lot of people. Um, I don't understand mm. why, but mm. um, you know what? You know what? I make, are you sure they haven't modded their phones? Because I've been hearing that the one, the people that had jailbroke their phones are the ones that are getting bricked. No, these are all half of them are only brand new. Right. Okay. So the, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, Actually, maybe the funny thing is, two of my friends who do have jailbroke phones that work perfectly. So 
Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right. So, well, well. Let, All let's right. finish with um. Let's finish with iPad. And uh, yep. I think we'll iPad just, gone. We'll just have a <laughs> we'll have a little break, <laughs> and we're going to um. Where am I? I? We're gonna we're gonna have a little break, and we're going to hear for a review from Garth. Is that all right? Can we do that? Yeah, it's all right. Too bad if it's not, I guess. <laughs> oh, well, that's right. He's all, he's already he's queued up, ready to go. <laughs> hey, Glenn, why are you on the far left of your screen, mate? Uh, because. <laughs> so it can do. You can press the other button, and then it does. No, because are you because of the disco lights? Is that why? No, no, it's because um. um uh, just uh, that's how it is. Because otherwise, if I move move the camera anywhere <laughs> else, it, it p- doesn't pick up the green screen. Short answer oh, is I somebody see. hung the green screen in the wrong place. That's right. But, but we'll get there. But anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll get there. Don't you worry. But anyway, Garth, uh, uh, biting at the bit to, to get on. So um, we better we better hear from you, mate. All right, here we go. Oh, turn him up a bit. Might help. Can we get any more out of him? What? Right, click on it and volume up. Yeah, look, now by now everyone, well, most people, or most people, or majority Some of people, <laughs> that freak. They've, they've got Why is that a, so uh, soft? Um, and now there's a pop cell, and it's these are the pop cell app because it's great. Thank you. It's great. It's, um, you hook it all up to your, in the uh, you download into the iPad, and you can actually record channels as well. Go through the, the guide and push record. And you can so directly from your app, you can set up oh, yeah. recordings and stuff like that? That's right, yes. It's, 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 That's horrid. But the, the most useful thing that I find it useful for is, of course, the guide where yep. and the search functionality. So, for say, for example, I was looking, I saw that Wall Street Money Never Talks or whatever the hell it was called. Mm-hmm. It was on um, recently, but I missed it. Okay. And it was I couldn't find it on the box even. So I went to the guide. Type it in. Typed in Wall Street. Up and pops. There are pops up well, I think fourteen days in advance told me when it was on next. Okay. Yeah. So up to up to two weeks ahead. Something like that, yeah. So that's, that's pretty cool because yeah, that mm. that's one of the you know most annoying things about watching T V, isn't it? Trying that's, to find the things to watch because there's nothing on. That's right. Now, also, who uh, just and just goes hand in hand, obviously, with Foxtel app is Oz TV app. Yep. Now that's the free to wear, the free, the free to wear uh, app for free to wear channels, and uh, you install that. You can't record and do everything like that, obviously, but um, same search functionality. Yep. Very, very easy to read grid set out. Set okay. Um, <laughs> and the Oz TV does cost you a couple of bucks, okay. but uh, but other than that, it's. Oh, it's great. It's the, it's the search functionality that I like the best. Yeah. Like, yeah. It, it, it's it's just it's just good. But uh, but anyone right. that's got the yeah the, the Foxtel or free to wear, get the app, man. It's great. Beautiful. So you got Foxtel and Oz TV. That's right. Yeah. All right. Alrighty. How do I go? All right. Sounds all right, Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> I can't I can't speak to how um, accessible these fellas are. No. I need uh, to get Foxtel. Yes. Yes. So well, <laughs> well, you don't need to. You just need the app, and you can have a go. Oh, I, I, I could have a go, but you know. Then I'd see all these shows that I really wanted to watch, and I'd have to go. Oh, geez, I have to go with Glenn's. Yeah, well, yeah, well, like <laughs> sh- shows like the Ellen DeGeneres show. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. You're not selling it to me, man. You're not selling. Nah, it to me. Grand Designs. No, yeah. No. Z- zoo Days. Fox Hill's great, isn't it? All right. <laughs> I'll keep my money. When's the footy on? All right. We'll <laughs> see you next time, Garth. Good night. Bye bye. Yeah, that's not a bad little app, that Foxtel app. On the uh, on the good old iPad, but uh, yeah, sorry about the audio quality there. I'm not sure what was going on with that. But um, but anyway, we we can we, we we can push on. We can push on now. Oh, just let me readjust everything here. Okay, what else have we got going? Where's where's my show notes? Where's my show notes? Let's see. What are we up to? Oh, uh, how about Windows eight? Where we put them? Pardon? Windows eight. Oh no, yeah. Windows eight. We all know that the uh, developer yes. preview is out. Uh, oh, and even the um, what it, will they call it? The consumer preview, or whatever they want to call consumer it. Consumer preview. Yeah, so uh, it's out. But uh, uh, one million copies of it has been downloaded mm. in the first 40, 24 hours of availability. And about ten of those are mine. Right. <laughs> so it was. I haven't successfully got a download yet. Yeah. Okay. So what you haven't <laughs> downloaded it. I've downloaded it ten times and it hasn't actually completed yet. Um, it, I, my internet is still obviously playing up, so yeah, right. Uh, it's strange. It gets to a hundred percent, but when I try to open the file, it tells me it's corrupted. So. Oh, that's no good. That's no good at all. So can't you? You can download the ISO, can't you? Or are you doing the ISO or something else? No, uh, the ISO. Yeah. Yeah, because I think there's another way you can download it. But anyway, that's that's 
doesn't matter. But yeah, give it another shot, Will. You've got 200 gig to so play have with. You, uh, installed it yet? Have, have you installed it yet, Will? No, I can't download it yet. Um, oh, right. How come? Oh, because your internet. I, well, I don't know. You watch it and it downloads correctly. Like, there's no errors in the downloads or anything like that. It just yeah. it just doesn't work. The file just doesn't work. So. Oh, you need, you need an ISO um, extractor. Yeah, yeah. No, I've got all mm. that. It tells me it's corrupt. So oh, I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to wait till I change my modems over and try again. Right. And I've got a uh, a laptop there I can try it out on. So mm. have you? Uh, what about you, Glenn? Have you uh, um, no, downloaded I've, it yet? No, no, I haven't yet. I've um I've been quite no. busy with uh, some running repairs and all my other things that I do in life. And I, I just got another machine I want to build, and that's going to be my test machine. So when I get that done, oh, I'll uh, I'll uh, try and install all this sort of stuff. But uh, sticking with Microsoft, Microsoft settles over Aussie in- invented patents. Now, we had talked about this a long time ago, I suppose, when it first came out. Yep, yep, um, yep. So after countless court battles and you were in the US and several overturned judgments, Microsoft and Unilock this week reached a final and a mutual agreeable resolution. So that's all good. The inventor would not reveal his personal gain or the company's financial settlement, but said it would be as as valuable as I could expect. So you guess that there's quite a bit of money involved there. But uh, so what the paint was all about was uh, they, they'd been they've been blown since about 2003 when Unilock sought damages from Microsoft for infringing the patent to create software. Uh, worth up to 19 billion in market value. It was alleged the software giant Microsoft had infringed the patent uh, number. If you, if anyone's out there just wants to go and have a look, I've got the number uh, five four nine zero two one six in developing its product activation systems, including those used in Microsoft Word, Windows XP, and the clearinghouse facility used to maintain licensing for its remote desktop service. Ooh, there you mm. go. So Microsoft, obviously, the to and fro, to and fro, to and fro, and at the end the um. Yeah, the, the David won. Goliath lost. Yes. Uh, yeah, good, good on him. Good on him. Yes. Uh, Bendigo Bank, I don't know if you guys saw this, but have a, have a listen to this one. Bendigo... Yes, very good, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. So ben, Bendigo Bank, they've decided to shut all their computers off at night time. Like, why wouldn't you do it anyway? But the Bendigo and Adelaide Bank had created new desktop power management software. And in the first four months, the January 2012... Cut their bill by forty-one thousand dollars. Forty-one thousand. Computers must do do really suck the life out of the electricity when you leave them on, don't they? Well, you can work it out, you know. Yeah. Even if you've got a basic system, you're pulling a good, you know, two hundred and fifty watts constantly. So that's just your, just your case. Do you shut yours off, Will? No. No. I don't either. It's, I don't either. It's funny. I used to think it was the computers give me a high power bill. When we moved from where we were to here, I've actually got two more computers now. Our power bill went from seven hundred dollars a quarter to three hundred. So, um, it's not the computers. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wonder what you're doing differently. Is it the dishwasher? Uh, the, it's the hot water system. We think. We think uh, the hot water yeah, system. you're right. You're right. Yeah. You're on gas now. No, we're on electricity, but this one actually seems to be off peak. The other one just seemed to be on all the time. You might not. So, have, you might not have had off peak, uh, off peak power there. No, it wasn't. It was an old one. Um, uh, the old ones that you you probably were on off peak, but it was a very it's an inefficient, um, yeah, what you it call it, horrible. a very inefficiently, what do you call it thingo? Yeah, thingy it was bobble. supposed to be on a lower tariff to make up for it, but it didn't. You know, but you, that's did, the thing. We went from having two computers on there all the time. We we basically have uh, one, two, three, four, five computers on here full time. Um, right, right, and you know, and more on the odd occasion. So, but I mean, they, they add up. If you've got you know, however many six thousand computers like they've got two hundred and fifty watts, even a dumb terminal terminals are a couple of hundred watts. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, you know, so and it, I think it works out to seventy seventy cents per thousand watts, or, or seven cents per thousand. No, is it twelve cents per thousand watts per hour or something? It works out to so. You know, it's not much. You get one of those. And it's pretty expensive. Get one of those. Get one of those little energy meter things, like I've got. Yeah, you get that from the government or somewhere. Yeah, we got and, one of those. And it tells um, you. It they te- put it into our. <laughs> actually, funny story. They put it into our power box. How'd you get one of those, mate? Uh, they, um, they the government sort of came round for fifty bucks and yeah. put one in your in your fuse box and and then that's the remote control thing for it. Right. Right. 
So yeah, they mm. put one. They put one on ours, and they, they. This house is about fifty year old, and they hooked it up to the wiring, and they must have bumped right. something while they were in there, because that night, um, we lost all power and didn't know what was going on. Dealt with it, and, you know. Come out in the morning, had a look, and all mm. the back of the fuse box had all black soot marks up the back of it. Brilliant. So, <laughs> so that was good. But uh, yeah, but the, the, in September they scrapped its policy of leaving six thousand desktop computers on overnight. So six thousand—that's mm. how—that's what—that's what we're talking about. That's now, a lot. That's a lot. Yeah, under phase one of the power management project, uh, they sh- they will be automatically shut down all desktops in idle or standby mode from six pm mm. to eight pm. Uh, to uh, six pm to eight am. The following day, technology staff configured all the the functionality to remote uh, to remotely boot up all machines between 11 p.m. and 2 a.m. for patching and updates. So the reason that was the reason why they were leaving them on is for updates. Like, how many updates do you get? <laughs> uh, but but by not using some 250,200 kilowatts of energy, uh, they said the bank had avoided some 546 tons of carbon emissions. Based on current power, power management settings, the bank expected to shave $175,000 off its bill within 12 months and avoid well, 2,000. Rob well, Brown's going to come around there and give them what for. Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Literally. And, uh, um, yeah, so, he, so he, just, he'll be going this off. This is funny. They've finally used the wake on land feature um, that, you know, most businesses have been using for the last 10 years. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they finally know. figured out that they can send a signal down the network and... Turn, Turn the it computer on. on remotely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well done, fellas. Yeah. All right. So, um, what else have we got going? Oh, I've got one more story. We can end up with one more story. Oh, did you have any? Um, did you do an audible this week, Eric? Did you have no, anything mate. to do with that? Sorry. No, that's all. Sorry, right. did not. Did not do an audible. But you guys know the audible drum. I'm not going to bang it tonight. Just uh, AussieTechEdge.com.au. Okay. Uh, link on the front on the front page there. If you want to join up, it's a free book. So whoopie do go and do that. I was going to say, what does that? That gives them the uh, thirty day free account. It is. It has changed to the thirty day free account now. It used yep. to be fourteen, and now it's uh, thirty. So, so yeah. So for nothing else, you get a free book, and you get to listen to it for for a month without any fees, and then you can choose to either close your account and you get to keep the book, or you can pay uh, depending on which plan you go for. You can you can. Pay mm. to get the plans plans month. start as little as. Um, Fourteen ninety five a month or something like that. You can be a part time user, which is what I am. It's five dollars a year, and you get membership discounts on the books, but you still pay for them. They're just at a reduced rate. All right, and uh, and and look, we've got a we've got a caller in. Her. It's a very special night tonight. We got a, we've got a caller in. Her. Who who'd be there? Oh, hello. 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 Where are you? I don't think this is happening. Hello? Can you hear, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh, just. Well, I was going to say, give me two seconds. Talk amongst yourselves. Oh, I'll come, back, to you to, I'll come back in a minute. That's sweet. All right, so. Um, I've got a story. I've got a couple of them, but one just quickly for all you Star Wars fans out there and ET fans and things like that. Uh, Ralph... Um, Macquarie, the illustrator who designed uh, Darth Vader, R2-D2, C-3PO, died at the age of 82. Um, hmm. He basically was... George Lucas said that Ralph was the person who actually first envisioned Star Wars with him, the first person who helped him make, make it happen. Um, he did everything from, yeah, from Star Wars things. He did uh, Battlestar Galactica. He did E.T., uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Cocoon. So he's, he's uh, fairly well known in the in that sort of industry. Yeah, well, Lady Gaga, who's still very much alive, she's uh, <laughs> she's the uh, first Twitter user to reach 20 million followers. Just, just, mm. just nudging ahead of Justin Bieber on 18 million, Katy Perry on 15.7, and Shakira. She's still ca- carrying on, is she? Fourteen and a half million. Uh, her oh, massive. I didn't realise she had so many followers. Yeah, her her massive following is in addition to forty eight million fans on Facebook. Her monsters. Monster, her little monsters. Yeah. Yeah, she starts. Yep. Yeah, starting <laughs> something up like that, isn't there? Unlike some other stars, the best selling singer has says has said she personally updates her Twitter account. So there you go. Yes, she does. Mm. Apparently, she uh, she writes all her own stuff. Well, good on which her. Which is good. 
Yeah, yeah exactly. good on us. Why not? Some of our own music. That's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs> Go easy. <laughs> now, uh, what's this one, uh, Eric, you got in here uh, about hacking? What was that one about? Anonymous. What, what, Anonymous. Have they been, what have they been up to? Well, according to them, they have, uh, they have hacked into the Vatican website and in attack in retaliation for church, church corruption. And the first attempt, which was, I think, last year, tried, uh, didn't work. Uh, it says here, Anonymous decided today to besiege your site, writing to the <laughs> Catholic Church, yeah. in response to the doctrine, to the liturgies, to the absurd and anachronistic concepts that your for-profit organisation, even though the Catholic Church says they're non-profit, that your, non, your, that your pro, for-profit organisation spreads around the world, the hackers said in the statement. This attack is not against the Christian religion or the faithful around the world, but against the corrupt Roman Apostolic Church. Mm, Aside from taking down the Vatican, the hacking group also claimed responsibility for attacking several several Vatican-related sites, including that of its newspaper. Yeah, right. Right, okay. So Anonymous are at it again. They have some... uh, uh, Anonymous... Look, I don't like anarchy any more than the next bloke, but you know what? Sometimes... Certain organisations deserve to get hit. I'm just wondering if that. I mean, I know they say the takedowns, you know, f- for for whatever, but I'm wondering if it's got anything to do with the fact that half a dozen of their ringmasters um, got like taken Catholic. down by the FBI the other day. Um, well, I mean, it was it was Lulsec, but Lulsec. offshoot, you know, offshoot, they're, they're the same sort of deal. Um, so I'm, I'm just wondering, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Who knows? But, uh, who knows? But uh, what's it? What, so they, they, what else they say? They said they went on. They accused the Catholic Church of several historical wrong, wrongdoings, and this is all fact, including killing opponents, true, burning texts, text, texts and, and writings and whatnot, yeah. yep, true, and uh, harboring Nazi war criminals, true. The group also blasted the institution for allowing its representatives to harass and abuse children. Mm. All true. Yep, mm. yep, yep. Oh. That's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see if uh, if Mark if Mark's ready. Hello. Hello. Oh, here we go. How are you going? What do you What have you been up to? I'm Mark? good. I'm in I'm in an alleyway. Oh, good. <laughs> as, you, as you do. <laughs> you like the alleys. <laughs> Surrounded by beer kegs. Oh, what is that? Fat well, that's people. That's where you want to be. <laughs> <laughs> you want to You want to take your own tap. Tap one. Yeah, true. <laughs> well, it'd be nice if you could. I don't know. There'd be dregs. There'd be dregs. Oh, yeah. We love it. Love <laughs> it. They're the best bits, aren't they? <laughs> now, yeah, true. <laughs> now, did I've, you... got, I've got to say a couple of things. Yes. A couple of things. I was listening to the show. Number one is if aliens ever came to Earth, the first person they would actually want to contact would be Queen Lady Gaga yep. and Prince <laughs> Justin Bieber, based on their popularity <laughs> on Twitter. That's like, right. Like, these clearly are the leaders world you know what i mean yeah yeah well that's right what, what better way to get your message out than uh to contact 20 million people in one go yeah, yeah. tweet this for me they'd be saying yeah <laughs> tweak this and uh yeah and so <laughs> what else has been going on mark you've got you've got your own mdj radio thing going on you want to yeah you, that's you can... just all the live music from waxies yeah you put pl- good acoustic give, stuff give that your url a plug while you're there oh it's just mdjradio.com Oh, well, there you go. That's an easy one to, to listen to, uh, type in and remember. And uh, what else have you been doing? What, what makes you ring in tonight? Anything special or just to oh, say hello? The main reason why I'm ringing in is because of the iPad. Yes. You like it? Now, I don't know whether it's called the iPad 3 or just the new iPad. The new iPad, apparently. Dumb yeah, name. So I'm guessing they're going to be pissing off the 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and just go with iPad and then iPad. I think they're going the same way they did with their MacBook Pros. It's just, yeah, exactly. it's just, it's just the latest MacBook Pro, that's all. Mm. That's, that's iPad all HD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. iPad XD. So, so you're going to buy one or what, what are you doing? Well, I just found out that the 4G network's compatible here. Yes, but that, that will probably change. Like, yeah, with oh, 3G's compatible. fast enough on these things, mate. Yeah. Especially if you're not with Vodafone or um, Optus. Yeah, look, if you go to Telstra, have you? because you haven't had a Telstra phone for a while, I wouldn't imagine, Mark. No, I'm fine. Yeah, but, but like, look, uh, Kim's bought a, an iPhone 4S and she hooked up the Telstra 
and seriously, it's got some good speeds. It's got like things like uh, uh, seven down, three up, things like this. It's, nice. It's, it's insane. Insanity. It, it, it runs... well, what, what I'm going to do? What I'm going to do? I'm going to get the Wi-Fi version. Yep. Not the not the four G three G version. Yeah. And wait for the iPhone five. Yes. Good yep. idea. Yeah. Because that'll be four G. Yeah. Exactly. Well, I'm waiting for the five as well. So um. Ooh, I'll be all, mate. <laughs> but I wonder if they can drop the numbers off the iPhone as well. Yeah, look, they probably... Uh, they might. They might. It might be just end up being the new iPhone because it'll be 4G. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they get confusing. Am I buying the 4, the 4S or the 4G? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? Has it got so Siri? So it'll just be the new iPhone. <laughs> yeah. But the, well, but... No, I reckon they could probably do that. It'll be the iPhone 4G. Oh. Yes. Well, that's true. They could, probably could sell it that way if, in, in fact, it was 4G. Because mm. 4G yeah. speeds in America are absolute garbage. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you know, um, Compared to Australia. Mark, I uh, I got a mate who had a who got a HTC 4G with Telstra, and yep. a speed test in the Rang was was uh, oh geez, what did he get? Thirty twenty one. No, he 21. got thirty five no, down. Thirty yeah. Thirty five down up. and fifteen up. How's that? That's now? not bad. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah, that up is better than the cable, Telstra cable. So what, who was he yeah. connected to? Telstra. Telstra. Yeah. 3G? No, the 4G. The oh, okay, Telstra 4G. Yeah, yeah, he had, the, he, had the new, yeah, he had the new HTC thing. Yeah, it was going off. But, um, yeah, so what else has been happening, Mark? Just uh, working at Waxy still and all that sort of stuff? Yeah, just doing a whole range of different things, kind of like, you know, just staying out of trouble. Oh, that's the best way. <laughs> that's the best way yeah. to be. <laughs> yeah, but you can cause it, but just stay out of it. Yeah, that's but right. You can start. I'm going to go we'll now because I'm going to go back in because <laughs> yeah, I'm, right. I'm, I'm actually playing music right now and the reggae is not working. Okay, um, well, good to hear from you. <laughs> no, it's always a pleasure. And like I said, if you want, if you want any, I'm going to get you on the den. That's the other thing, the den. The good old den. What nights that den on? Tuesday nights. Tuesday nights. All right. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, the den's a lot of fun. Right. But um, yeah, and I'm trying to send them to you, and I can't get wrap my brain around Dropbox. Yeah, have you signed up to Dropbox? Have you gone to Dropbox no, account? No, I see you didn't put that in the instructions. I didn't know I had to create an account. But now that oh, okay. I know that I have to, I'm going to do that. Oh, do an account and then uh, use my link. Oh, I'll just right, I'll, so sh- I'll, 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 I'll share you from scratch, so it'll send you everything. I love using your link. <laughs> and I love it when you scratch me. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> we'll talk to you next time. Okay, bye. All right, peace See out, you, boys. Mate. Bye. Cheers, Ciao. Mate. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Speaking of uh, speaking of Telstra speeds, I'm downloading the Windows 8 Consumer Preview as we as we speak. It's a three gig file, yeah. and it's downloading at six megabytes, not megabits, six megabytes per second. Mm, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, well, pretty eight, cool. minutes, eight minutes I, to go. I was gonna three. say you pull it down in <laughs> what twenty minutes or something. Eight, well, eight minutes. I've done four ninety five uh, so far of three gigs, mm. and it's gonna take eight minutes. Yeah. yeah, that's good. That's good. All right, we're at the end of the show. So, um, uh, Chewing the Fat, also on the Secret Hub Network, Chewing the Fat recording live. Next, Eric. Next. 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 Good stuff. Good stuff. So, all right then, boys. Thanks for coming in. And uh, No worries. Thank you, sir. And no thanks, uh, Will. You Always can, a pleasure. You can, you can, you can t- contact those... Um, those uh, those little tech heads at Eric, Will, or Glenn at AussieTechHeads.com.au. Eric on the Twitter at Eric with a K Franco. Will at Mr. Tomkinson. Or me at Aussie Tech Heads. And thanks to Brad and uh, te- TechWebcast.info for the Tech Webcast show. But at 7 o'clock, that precedes Aussie Tech Heads every Thursday night. 7 th- 7.40 p.m. Queensland time. And it's uh, good to be listened to. And hopefully you'll be listening next week. So until then, it's bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.